AMD's new GPUs are looking insane. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. That's right, we have some new GPUs coming out from AMD, hopefully in not too long. Of course, we will touch on the release dates in just a bit, but these things, yeah, they could definitely shake up the entire GPU market, and in a good way for once, as the price to performance is looking absolutely crazy and the performance itself is shockingly quite a bit better than I had originally anticipated. Now, the GPUs we're talking about today are going to be the next generation RDNA 4 RX 8000 series graphics cards. Now, there's been a ton of leaks about these recently, and I have a new one I want to share with you guys today, and we'll go ahead and break down, figure out whether or not this could actually happen, and what does it mean for the RX 8000 series graphics cards. Now, this information I got from a Hardware Times article that I will have linked in the description below if you want to learn more, and it actually originates from a a leak that comes from the YouTube leaker Moore's Law is Dead. Now, of course, none of this is confirmed. It's all rumors. Take it with a grain of salt. However, it does kind of line up with some other stuff that I've been hearing, and he did drop some core counts as well as some other information on these cards. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to actually throw it together in a little bit of a chart and add in a little bit of my own speculation as well to figure out just what these things are going to look like. So taking a look at that chart here, guys, we can see here that the two GPUs which are getting leaked are the 8700 XT and the 8800 XT or 8800 XTX. Now, of course, the names are not confirmed at this point in time. However, that does seem to be the most likely, and it also sounds like, according to the leaks, that it is gonna be fabbed on the N4P process, which is gonna allow for significantly better energy efficiency when compared to their previous five nanometer node. And speaking of efficiency, what you're gonna notice here is that in terms of the shaders, there's actually gonna be fewer on the 8700 XT than there are on the 7800 XT, where it has just 3,584 versus the 3,840 on that previous 7,800 XT. However, guys, I think what you're going to notice here is that the boost clocks are significantly higher than they were on the previous generation, or I guess current generation, of AMD Radeon graphics cards. We're talking about 3.2 gigahertz likely to be the clock speed that these things are going to be achieving, as I do believe the leaker was claiming somewhere between 3.4 to 3.5 gigahertz being the maximum the top chips might be trying to achieve, so I do think this would be a realistic value for a more power constrained and cut down version. Now, 3.2 gigahertz is still an enormous uplift over the 2.43 on the 7800 XT, and also it sounds like potentially that these things might be moving to GDDR7, running at 28 gigabits per second, possibly on a 256-bit bus for this model, which could mean up to 896 gigabytes per second, a massive uplift in terms of memory bandwidth over the 624 that we got on the 7800 XT. Also, the TDP, I do believe, actually will be going down, so overall this should be a far more efficient and also far more powerful graphics card. But what about the 8800? XT or the 8800 XTX? Well, I'm glad you asked. You better sit down because this thing is looking pretty good, actually. So we're talking about 64 CUs for a total of 4,096 shaders, which is a significant reduction from the 7900 XTX. However, running at 3.4 gigahertz with GDDR7 running at 28 gigabits per second, getting that same nearly 900 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth and a far lower TDP of roughly 265 watts. And this thing could be an absolute monster. But in terms of of performance, how is this thing going to stack up, and what is it going to cost most importantly? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So starting off with the 8700 XT, I actually do believe this will come in at a price of $399, and in terms of performance, be around 23% faster than the 7800 XT. That is a massive improvement in terms of price to performance, and in terms of release date, probably talking around quarter four of this year, 2024. And then the 8800 XT is, I believe, going to come in at $499 as was leaked by Moore's Law is Dead. And if that is true, well, with 27.9 teraflops of GPU performance, we're talking about roughly 50% faster than that 7800 XT, which also puts it around the RTX 4080 or the RX 7900 XTX, except for at half the cost of those cards. That is absolutely crazy. That's basically double in terms of price to performance, a two times increase 
absolutely insane. Now, in terms of release date for this one, we're probably talking about, once again, quarter three or quarter four of 2024 of this year. So with these two cards kind of hanging around the 7900 XT and the 7900 XTX, but bringing that price to half of what it currently is, yeah, I think these are going to be a go-to option for a lot of gamers out there. And I'll tell you why. Not only is the price to performance looking really, really good, but also it sounds like according to that leak that they are actually going to have some sort of Tensor Core option. Quote, the RDNA 4 SIMD will allegedly include a Tensor Core equivalent matrix unit and F P eight units for accelerating AI workloads while RDNA three features AI cores. And this is the current GPUs we can buy right now in the 7,900 XTX. They're actually repurposing SIMDs used for WMMA instructions. So it sounds like they're going to have some new architectural changes that will allow them to actually crunch numbers in the same way that the RTX 40 series does when it comes to those AI workloads. So that's really, really important stuff because I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was some recent information alluding to the idea that AMD will be actually redoing its FSR implementation to use AI upscaling rather than the current method, which just doesn't look as good as DLSS. So if they can actually pull that off with this new hardware, well, then they're going to have potentially an actually legitimate DLSS competitor that will actually look as good as in my testing. They are currently falling far short where sometimes they can look almost equal, but in other times it can actually be that the quality version of FSR can look worse than the performance or even ultra performance version of DLSS, and that is not a good place for AMD to be if they want to keep up with NVIDIA, especially when it comes to those AI and ray tracing workloads, which by the way, it sounds like ray tracing will be getting a significant bump as well. So really exciting stuff, guys. I cannot wait to get my hands on these. And honestly, if those prices are true, AMD might have won already because in my book, the better the price to performance, that's going to be the one that I'm definitely going to be recommending, especially if they can finally catch up to NVIDIA on those features. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that AMD can actually pull this off? Or do you think that they're gonna fall far short of NVIDIA, at least when it comes to features, once again? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you wanna see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.